Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Liberty Challenge. Today we have American Dragon Jake Long. This is an animated series. It's two seasons, I think. Yeah, two seasons, 21 and 31 episodes. So yeah, 52, if I do my math right. Uh, 52 episodes of... There's really no backstory on this. It just jumps right into it. There's no... Like, how did he get his powers or anything else? I mean, it's it's peppered in there as it goes along. Um, it, it, this is a series, by the way, of 24-ish minute episodes. Uh, it started in 2005 and 2006. Uh, it, I believe it's a Chinese-American kid who's, they say he's kind of a slacker. Uh, he's, his grandpa trains him. They're all, they come from a, a family of dragons. And somehow, um, mom married a normal human dude and made two kids, him and his very intelligent, Jake and his very intelligent little sister, uh, who is also part dragon, and mom is part dragon, grandpa's part dragon, and apparently they're just part of a, a mythical creature ecosystem that lives in New York City. I mean, there's unicorns, there's gargoyles, there's all sorts of things. We already knew there were gargoyles. Different gargoyles, but... They, uh, it's basically just a, every kind of mystical, mystical creature you can imagine, mermaids even, uh, they run the toll booth, booths on the bridge, and then they jump in the water when their shift is done, that kind of thing. Um, it, a lot of that is kind of explained, I guess, in the theme song and, and things like that in the very first episode. And uh, But he, Jake's a normal teenage kid, he's into a very pretty girl, who uh, is very, I'm not going to really spoil anything here, but who is very obviously the his arch nemesis secretly because they both have the same tattoo or not tattoo it's not a tattoo it's a birthmark they have the same birthmark uh, in the shape of a dragon and she works for her dad who hunts mystical creatures and she's a very ninja like but he has no idea that he's in love with the girl he also fights he has problems with his abilities to turn into a dragon all at once Sometimes he, sometimes you just get the tail, and sometimes you just get the head, and the abilities like shooting fire and whatever else. Um, but yeah, it's it's awkward teenage growth spurts and uh, learning responsibility and things like that. That's pretty much what this show is about. And of course, it's lots of lots of comedy aimed towards kids. It's not anything highbrow, really. It's nothing too complicated. Uh, most interesting to me is the fact that there's. Uh, a dog in this. His name's Dog Foo or something? I don't... I, that just seems like a... Foo Dog. Yeah, Foo Dog. But he's voiced by John DiMaggio, which you'll... If you've seen your share of cartoons, will recognize that name immediately. He's done endless amounts of uh, animated shows, but he is best known as Finn, from the dog from Adventure Time, and also uh, Bender from Futurama. So, yeah, but as soon as that dog starts talking, you know that's John DiMaggio. He... He has a certain tone, I think, to some of his characters. And this one is, you know, he's like the dog of his of Jake's grandpa. And for some reason, he, like, takes bets on... He has, he, has a, he has a cell phone. He's a dog with a cell phone who can talk. Yes, that's otherwise, what would John DiMaggio do? Uh, he can talk. He has a cell phone. And he calls in bets on whether his grandpa's grandson, whether whether Jake's going to win a fight or not. And he keeps changing his bets along the way, depending on how the fight's going. So, he's not very trustworthy. I think he, I, I like him, but he's, you know, I don't know if he's man's best friend or not. He's very opportunist. He's very bender in that way. So, yeah, it's, um, it's, a, it's a neat cast. Uh, uh, there's a, a lot of people, even though it's just two seasons, uh, a number of people play the same characters like there's a number of two different people who plays jake's grandpa great jake's grandpa two different people who played jake's dad uh yeah and dad's completely oblivious of the otherworldly aspects of his family which man he must be checked out because either he's in denial or he just is not that bright so i don't know he's just not attentive i guess i don't know Either way, it's it's a fun, cute little thing, a uh, little show. It's it's nothing that's gonna make me like, oh my god, I gotta see more. I only watched one episode, kind of got the gist of it, 
Um, it, it <laughs> the day was saved with a fire fart. He's a dragon who farts, and every time he farts, he farts so hard, you know, flame shoots out and his pants come off. He's in under his underwear, obviously, that apparently do not burn off, thankfully, because this wouldn't be a children's show if that was the case. But, you know, it's he's like a quippy Bart Simpson if Bart Simpson had superpowers kind of thing. It's it's nothing, you know more complicated than that. It's it's a it's a fun little show. Uh it's it's not for me. It's not made for me. So and that's all right. That's all right. Some of you may have grown up with this show and you'll love it. I know there's uh, I'm sure there's a die hard fan base for this show. Uh, but yeah. You know, check it out. It's on Disney Plus now. I don't know if was this really a, a Disney I don't know if this is a Disney Channel show or if this was brought over with the Fox acquisition or not. But uh yeah. American Dragon, Jake Long. I think there's something else with American Dragon on here. It might be a, a series of shorts. I'm not sure, but yeah. It's all right. Maybe I, I'd get into it if I watched more episodes. I, I don't know. but Yeah, it's rare to, at this point to have a, a Chinese-American hero, teenage hero, in anything in America. So, hey, it's a little bit, a few years before Shang-Chi, He's all grown up. Ooh, maybe they're related. No, that's not. Let's not go there. <laughs> I really doubt that's the case. Anyway, let's pick tomorrow's episode. 113. 113. We're not going too far. Oh, okay. This is a new show, somewhat. Well, it's, it, it launched, I think think with Disney Plus. It's a Disney Plus original series. And so yeah, we're going to see another uh, series here right in a row. Uh, but it's live action, not animated. It is Diary of a Future President. Diary of a Future President. The series. I don't know if there's a second season yet, but I, you know what? We're going to talk about this tomorrow. doesn't matter. Diary of a Future President on the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. I'll see you back here tomorrow with that.